So the most basic way to shake the camera is to apply a random offset to its position each frame. This works pretty well for very violent shakes, but it can also break the connection between the camera and the game since the camera can move anywhere within the random offset range instantaneously, resulting in more jarring and unrealistic movement. The code here shows one way you can implement this type of shake, using linear interpolation to gradually fade out the effect after it's been triggered. But I prefer to use noise to shake the camera, which has a couple of benefits. One, movement is more fluid and therefore less jarring. Two, the noise can be looped in case I want a constant movement path. And lastly, and most importantly for me, I can play with the speed and strength to get everything from intense shakes to gentle sways. And that's exactly what I did in Kaiju Clash to create a handheld camera effect and add a bit of subtle motion and liveliness to the scene. So let's look at how to use noise to shake the screen. Godot comes with a built-in noise implementation via its Open Simplex Noise class, and using it's pretty straightforward. All we have to do is initialize the noise in our ready function, tweak any parameters we care about, and then read from this generated noise each frame to get the offset value, keeping track of where we are each frame via noise i so that we can smoothly traverse the generated noise. The main parameters I like to tweak are the seed, which is used to generate the random noise, and the period, which adjusts how quickly values change in the noise. But for your own use, you may also want to adjust the octaves, which adjust the detailed level of the noise. Persistence and lack Unarity probably won't make much difference here, but you can read up on those if you're interested. To read the noise values, we can choose between 1 and 4 dimensions of noise and get back values in the range negative 1 to 1. For screen shake, I like to use 2D noise so that I can get different values for the X and Y offset, just using the same noise I value for both offsets as one parameter and then picking values reasonably far apart for the other parameter. So now we can play with the exported values and get everything from a violent shake to the gentle handheld effect I mentioned previously. These defaults shown here are a pretty good starting point for more typical screen shake, but by setting shake decay rate to zero and lowering noise shake speed and noise shake strength significantly, say one and eight respectively, we can create a constant and subtle sense of motion on the screen. And that's how I use noise to do screen shake in Godot. I'll link to the open simplex noise documentation if you want to know more.